Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Shoot, yeah. Did anybody else have to get up early? I'm sure there's a ton of y'all up early right now. Got to get the turkey in the oven bright and early or fire up the old grill. Look at the grill, boy. Ooh-wee. Got the grill. Let me show you what we got cooking. This is for Thanksgiving. Got a bunch of people coming in. I'm going to give you a tip and a trick. Look at that. Three rack of ribs on there. Can you see all right? Heck yeah. Uh, my oldest son is going to pop on some, uh, I got them three racks. I'm doing the three racks. That was my deal. What we're doing, here's a little trick y'all can do. If you got a bunch of people coming in, I'm going to tell you, this, this is a sweet little trick. And what you do is you, you, you get, uh, you get everybody do it. You know, like it, like a banquet, like a, uh, like at a, you go to church and they all throw together like a potluck thing and everybody brings something, right? Well, this is what this was the second year we're doing this, and it kind of saves money for everybody. And everybody, if you're coming, bring something, right? If you're, if you're, if you're, you know, somebody might bring mashed taters, or well, I'm doing ribs. My oldest son's doing two spatchcock chickens. We'll film that if I get a chance. I'll pop that on here. Um, pulled ham, uh, just different stuff. You know, somebody might bring macaroni and cheese, and 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 and, and grandma's bringing some uh, 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 dressing. Uh, my mom was bringing some stuffing and some mashed potatoes and just different stuff like that. And, uh, the older, the, the, the youngest son's bringing, uh, cornbread and sweet, sweet, sweet honey cornbread and, uh, and green bean casserole, him, him and his girlfriend. And then, uh, my, my oldest daughter, she's bringing, uh, an apple pie, I can't wait. Love apple pie. She makes such a good apple pie. Homemade crust and everything's so good. Uh, uh, she's bringing that, and I think something else. Anyway, we've got pies coming, and so when you do it like that, I mean, you know, it, it uh, kind of like a church social. You know, everybody just kind of brings something, whatever you like, whatever you, your dish is, bring it. And and that way, you know, especially with the money and and, and the, the 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 price of groceries now, so dang I'm high. This is just one way to, you know, help with the funds at Thanksgiving, you know, uh, where it's not always on, on somebody's back, too, to have to do everything. And it's kind of fun, you know. Uh, the, my oldest son, he come in last night, so he's going to do the chickens here in a little bit, and I'll get these ribs out of the way in about a couple more hours, and then he'll do the chickens, and we'll get that knocked out. But it's cold. You see my breath? I don't know if you saw that. But anyway, it is freaking cold out here. Had a light frost on everything, so it's going to be a good day. And it's another day to be thankful to God. Uh, I choose to be thankful to God for friends and family that are coming over. It's going to be awesome. So I hope uh, I hope you took this little tip. It's a good idea, though. Uh, you know, everybody kind of brings some, and it really helps, especially if you're hosting it in a way that that uh, you don't have to really do everything. You know, so. But uh, we'll ch we'll take a look at the spatchcock here in a little bit. I got to go comb my hair, you know what I'm saying, before everybody gets here because I look like a bum right now. I just got out of bed and got these ribs on because they, uh, they take a little while. So, All right, there's those chicken, spatchcock chickens he's going to put on here in after a while. Looking good. Don't they look good? It's good-looking seasoning on there. Pretty color already. He put a little oil on them. And put the seeding on there. We are lighting up the fire for the spatchcockers. Yeah. Is it hitting, buddy? Put some, more juice on. put some juice on there, man. Everybody loves lighter fluid flavored chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Think a lot no way. Tell us about this chicken, buddy. All right, so we got some spatchcock chicken here. If you don't know how to do it, you just cut the backbone out, take your good knife and split the breastbone just a little bit. You won't go all the way through. Hold your chicken in half, throw your drums on, season how you want it. We're going to put it right on the grill. We'll keep it off the coals a little bit, but we'll have to rotate. Okay. Keep it soft so we don't burn. So now tell us about what kind of what kind of uh, rub you got there. Well, it's a chipotle pepper mix. You can buy it at Atwoods in Texas. I don't know about up here. And it's called Suckle Busters. It's made out of Coppell, Texas. I love it. Every season I've had, they make is delicious. 
and it's not too expensive. So Heck yeah. Try it out. Heck yeah. Now, what did you put anything on it to hold the seasoning on there? Uh, a little bit of olive oil. I didn't on the bottom. Okay. But I did on the skin, and the olive oil is going to help crisp the skin up through the cook, too. Oh, crisp. Okay. Look at this new Patio Master 6000 we got going on, too, boy. All right, let's look at the coals right quick. That's what the coals look like. This is our Thanksgiving turkey, right? Yeah. <laughs> Chicken, right? And then wash your hands when you're done. You wash your hands. Over. No salsmanalza. Lit that. All right, there's some. Look at them darlings now. What kind of what kind of temperature are you running at? Uh, 250, 275. Keep them rotating. So you don't burn on bottom because we are pretty close to the heat. Okay, close to the heat. Yes, sir. They looking good though, golden brown. And what kind of wood are you using? Sure wood. You tell me. Pine. Ah, oh, dang it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oak. <laughs> uh, as long as it ain't pine, as right? As long as it ain't pine. Or cedar. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check out this mortgage board right quick. We got the soda poppers in there. Yeah. Over here. Look at all these pies, y'all. There's two pecan pies. There's a sweet potato pie. We've got peanut butter cookies with the little kisses. Let me open it up. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Fudge, peanut butter, chocolate. And these cookies right here, baby girl, what did, what's the name of these cookies? They are kicks. She's not in here. What's the name of the cookies, baby? Spritz. Cookies. Spritz? Yeah. And then we have some nuts and bolts right there from my mom's recipe. And uh, caramel popcorn. Oh, man. Chips and dip over here. Then we have this. Another thing my mom has done traditionally is this: uh, these uh, celery sticks with uh, cream cheese and olives. Then we have a little relish tray. Look at that. Huh? Delicious. Cranberry sauce. And let's go to the other side. The crackers right there to go with the cheese ball. Let's get over here on this she side did over his, here. Uh, Thanksgiving We're going to have uh, macaroni and cheese with bacon. And then we have a sweet potato casserole. We have gravy. Boiled onions. And then. What else you got? Nathan's making the Velveeta. Oh, yeah, the Velveeta. Yeah, I'm and it's going to have bacon in there. Bacon. And then over here, those are the cheese balls right there. And then there's a fruit salad right there. And then there's some more stuff coming. So, hey, Fat Daddy's going to fat out.